An Olympic gold medal, the symbol of being the best in the world. Seven young women, nicknamed the Magnificent Seven, earned that honor at the 96 Olympic Games, capturing hearts and dreams across the United States. But excellence in the gym is only a part of their story. They have also distinguished themselves outside the sport as well. And for the next two hours, you'll see the Mag Seven like you've never seen them before. There's a little classical music. A touch of Hollywood. Everybody, Carrie Strug. This is an humble... How about you give them? Oh, thank you. Pet tricks. Get up, get up, no, get up. I think you Some pets of a wilder sort. Uh, a lot of excitement. And a whole lot of fun. We're going to see each other since we're getting under the seat in shape. We've got my big bird drive. You know we can count back. Awesome. The Magnificent Seven, made in America. Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Barsha, on tour with the Magnificent Seven. They are seven athletes from across America who last summer in Atlanta came together to take the first team gold medal in gymnastics that has not gone to the Russians in a non-boycotted game since 1952. Their gold medal experience has had a huge impact on their lives. We'll learn more about that as our show unfolds. With me to bring them to you, ESPN gymnastics analyst Maura Driscoll. Maura, they are a very diverse group of young women. They certainly are, and I think you'll see tonight that in many ways, they are just ordinary kids and young women who happen to have extraordinary talent. One thing I think they all have in common is that their hard work and discipline, which has been cultivated in their gymnastics training, has transferred into many other areas of their lives. No question about that. And the impact not only on the athletes, but on their sport has been tremendous. And without even realizing it, this 96 Olympic team has had a profound impact on the sport in general, at the grassroots level by increasing the popularity of the sport, and for future generations of gymnasts by setting a new standard for women's gymnastics in the United States. Well, those young athletes have turned out in their thousands to try to meet that new standard. Before we meet the Magnificent Seven, let's take a look at their impact. Within hours of the Magnificent Seven's triumph in Atlanta, there was a celebration across the country. We were watching it on the couch, and we all just started jumping and screaming. It was, it was fun. I ran around the block four times, thinking they wanted to go medal. That feeling of excitement sent young girls tumbling into America's gym. Since last year, I had watched all of the gymnastics and Olympics, and I, I really liked it. And um, it just made me feel like I could be a gymnast. We had about a 20% increase in our enrollment here at the gym, and, uh, and I think gyms across the country. But for the most part, uh, I think you just see a, a, a general surge and uh, I think gyms are doing a much better job at keeping those kids involved in the sport once they do uh, see how much fun it is. Go, go, go. Good girl. <laughs> the popularity of the Mag 7 hasn't stayed in the gym. Check out any young gymnast's home, and you'll see reminders of these gold medalists everywhere. Their triumph has motivated their successors to fulfill their dreams. I was, you know, I was trying to, you know, work really hard so I may be able to make the Olympics someday. That made me want to go for it even more. It had seemed for Americans that Olympic gymnastic champions were from faraway places. All that started to change in 1984 with a 16-year-old from West Virginia. In 1984, Mary Lou's uh, performance and Mary Lou's unique, incredible performance, becoming the very first time all around Olympic champion for the United States, created the sensation and brought so many young people in. But today, the response was even greater. And I did not understand at the beginning why. 
Now I understand, because there were seven great young athletes out on the floor, seven so different what as personality. Nice, let's one leg up. Good finish, good finish. I think gymnastics will continue on because now that the people have gotten into the gym club and they see how good it is for their kids, whether they are going to be the next Olympian or whether they're just doing it for recreation, that it teaches kids a lot of life skills and I feel it gives them confidence and that's why they keep coming back. The fans are also coming back. A pair of tours of the gold medalists have been a huge success, attracting more than three quarters of a million fans in 90 cities. And we realized that it was kind of a starting point for gymnastics um, to go professional and also to just get um, a lot more um, of the audiences in the arenas um, on the off years, on the years that we're not in the Olympics. It's the same dream that we well, gymnastics is a very popular sport to begin with. And our team winning the gold medal in our country just made it even better. And us going on tour and doing these professional competitions is the best thing for gymnastics because kids are seeing us continue to do the sport and continue loving it. And that's what's most important about gymnastics is just going out there and having fun. The Mag 7 have been the stars since taking the victory stand in Atlanta. They've been on a box of Wheaties, made guest appearances on TV shows, performed on Broadway, and have been regulars on the talk show circuit. Here's Amanda Borden, the uh, team co-captain, uh, making your run. Come on, Amanda, let's do it. Here she goes. Now watch this. Oh, boy. Terrific, Amanda. Nice to see you. These seven have been in demand. 1996, once again, we took gymnastics to a whole nother level in terms of popularity. Uh, now there are successful post-Olympic tours selling out crowds, uh, lots of television coverage of our sport. The makeup of the MAG-7 has had a lot to do with their popularity. I think all you have to do is look at a picture of the seven women and you see um, the face of America. Um, we have a diversity that I think truly reflects the diversity of this country. Um, it was not by design. We have the seven best gymnasts uh, um, competing at the Olympic trials in 1996, but the added value is that they do have the face of America as a part of uh, their team. No one has represented the face of America more than Oklahoma's Shannon Miller. She is the United States' most decorated gymnast, but she's moving on to a new challenge. Go home with Shannon when the Magnificent Seven, Made in America, returns after this. The Magnificent Seven, Made in America, is being brought to you by Disney on Ice, the spirit of Pocahontas. Coming to an arena near you for a limited time, come relive all the adventure live on ice. So, Nick and Derm CQ is working for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing just fine, cold turkey. Oh, well, that's great. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jack. Yeah. Take a break. Oh, nice one. Come on, you know we quit for New Year's. Oh, wait, I'm coming. Jack, no. Just one cigarette. No. Why are you so calm? Because I got help. CQ, a 24-hour stream of medicine that's always with you, even when you first wake up. Helps calm the cravings, my friend. All right. Nicoderm CQ, the power to calm, the power to comfort, the power to help you quit. This has got to be wrong. What? Our long-distance bill. That high, huh? No, that low. People who use 10321 are doing a double-take on their long-distance bill. Must be someone else's. You save over AT&T on every call in the U.S. Every call is less. And all the calls over 20 minutes are 50% less. You just dial 10, 3, 2, 1, then 1, the area code and number. And the international rates are great. I could get used to this. Let's call someone. Okay. 10, 3, 2, 1. Oh, your mother. I rolled the dice for 8 bucks. I unloaded my Tonka for 12 bucks. <laughs> we went to Club Med for, for $18. $18. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smart investors know it. You get seriously low commissions and really fast trades with Ameritrade. Internet trade for $8. Touchtone trade for $12. Or trade with a broker just $18. I just sold a ton of steel for 8 bucks. 
And that's one low price per trade, no matter how many shares you trade. Just call 1-800-592-1210. I sold the store for 12 bucks. <laughs> Plus, when you open any Ameritrade account by April 15th, you get a free IRA for life. Call 1-800-592-1210 or visit our website. Traded my Fiat for BMW. Unloaded BMW for Mercedes. <laughs> All before lunch. Ameritrade. The way to trade. Period. I think the most moving moment was uh, seeing the flags being raised and hearing the national anthem being played. I mean, it was incredible. It's easy to see the history of Oklahoma. The Cowboy Hall of Fame is located in Oklahoma City. Its main airport bears the name of one of the profession's most famous people. Still surrounding the state capitol building, oil wells, black gold, the reason why people came to Oklahoma in the first place. And don't forget the storied football team, the University of Oklahoma in Norman, six-time NCAA champions. Now fast forward to the 90s, and the state has struck gold in the world of gymnastics. Another Hall of Fame has come to Oklahoma City, this one honoring the world's most famous gymnasts. Nearby Norman is the home of International Gymnast Magazine, and a gym run by Olympic champions Bart Connor and his wife, Olympic legend Nadia Comaneci. But it's the state's adopted daughter, the most decorated American gymnast ever, who has made Oklahoma the home of gymnastics. And kids all over America, when they think of gymnastics, certainly women's gymnastics, they think of, of Shannon. Five foot one inch Shannon Miller, winner of seven Olympic medals, two time national and world champion, stands tall in her home state. She's a, a wonderful advance messenger for Oklahoma's renaissance. You know, a lot of people don't realize this state is a gymnastic state. Bart Connor and Nadia Comaneci have a school here. And Shannon uh, follows a tradition that is very impressive and very important to us. The fact that she's going to the University of Oklahoma, the fact that she uh, lives and projects a good life, and she travels across the country, she says good things about our state. We love her. She is the best and the lowest paid ambassador of goodwill our state has. It has indeed been a love affair between the people of Oklahoma and Shannon. From the parades in her honor, to the headlines of her triumph, to her hometown commercial endorsements, even to the sign that welcomes you to Edmond, the suburb of Oklahoma City where Shannon grew up. Um, everyone here has always um, treated me like their daughter. Uh, doesn't matter who it is. Um, and not even, you know, it was even before I won Olympic medals. It was just, you know, while I was growing up, they knew I had a goal, they knew I had a dream, and they were willing to help me in any way possible. The people of Oklahoma opened their hearts to Shannon, and it was, it was the parade and everything that happened after Barcelona was just incredible, and it's continued for four years. I'm in uh, the local Kiwanis Club, and we probably have about 55 members. And they all think they're her surrogate fathers. I mean, they've just lived everything with us. And the people that I work with, the same thing. I mean, everyone kind of claims they're their own. She's so popular here that she was named Oklahoma Today Magazine's co-Oklahoman of 1996 with another Shannon, astronaut Shannon Lucid. The postman still gets a workout carrying her fan mail. And if you don't know Shannon's address, well, just put her name and city on the envelope and somehow it always seems to find its way to her mailbox. Shannon's path to stardom started when she and her sister Tessa pleaded with mom and dad for a trampoline at Christmas. Her parents gave in, and not very long after, five-year-old Shannon was in gymnastics classes. You know, she was just a quiet, skinny little kid, but she was really serious right from those early years. So, um, although she was a pretty spectacular little kid uh, at that time you still never had the idea that oh my gosh you know she's going to end up being the most accomplished american gymnast in the history of the sport acquiring that lofty label though didn't begin until she was eight years old when her club made a pilgrimage to moscow while in the former soviet union 
this quiet, skinny little kid tumbled into the sight of a visiting American coach, ironically, from her home state. I kept a side eye on, on her just because I, I noticed that she was, you know, crying after each return, really disappointed and really trying hard. And, and I said, there's a girl that I can help. I know what the problem is with her. If I can channel her negative e energy into something positive and learning, she looks like a pretty smart girl. I think I could help her. I was uh, probably really frustrated frustrating to work with because if I'd ever did anything wrong I would just start crying and it wouldn't be because I was hurt or anything like that or because I didn't want to be there I love gymnastics but it was because I was such a perfectionist that anything I did wrong you know it just tore me up <laughs> and um, Steve dealt with that really well Shannon's family might have literally grown up on easy street but the next 12 years were anything but six hours a day six days a week she worked in the gym to perfect her art. Fortunately, she was able to live at home and attend public schools because Nuno's gym was only a few miles from her house. But now, after 58 international and 49 national medals, including two gold, two silver, and three bronze Olympic medals, the 20-year-old is preparing for a new challenge. I take a totally different approach um, to a lot of things now. Um, I have different priorities. Um, school and my social life come before um, gym in a lot of ways. Although I, I know that I still need to keep in shape and still, um, you know, stay healthy enough so that I can keep competing and keep doing the shows. Um, but it's not my whole life right now. Well, I think everything that we accomplish and that she accomplishes from now on is just icing on the cake. And everything she's going to do now is going to be for enjoyment. It's not just uh, just a goal, but a goal that she wants to have fun at. Um, some of the uh, some of the years of hard work have paid off in uh, medals and uh, you know financially for her. But at this time, you know, it's really about having fun and really about uh, enjoying what you do in life. Shannon is a sophomore at the University of Oklahoma, looking forward to experiencing the typical life of a college student. Going to the games and just doing normal student things, hanging out and going to class and getting a good education, I mean, these are all things that are really important to me. Um, and also, it, just having a balanced life. I mean, I do all the traveling and I go on tour and I compete and I do appearances and things. It's nice to balance it out with kind of a normal home life where you just are a normal student, you go to school. Her introduction to Sooner football came this summer while walking through Memorial Stadium. How's it going? Good. Yeah, I'm a little feel all brighten up. I hear smiling from my nice football shirt. <laughs> it looks great. This is the first time I've been in here. So. Is that right? Yeah. Wait a minute now. Wait I know. <laughs> now, you live where in Edmond? No, I live here now. Okay, and you think it's the first time you've been on the football field? Yeah. I've been, I've been a supporter of you for uh, years. <laughs> but I'm going to come to all the games next year, as many as I can get to. <laughs> well, I want to see your face. Don't worry, you got to walk in there. So I'll make sure you're here, okay? <laughs> okay, What's I'll check in. Me, you too. Anything I can do for you, let me know, okay? All right, okay. thanks. Take care. <laughs> you too. All right. Shannon's early choice for a major is business, which she learned a lot about during her years in gymnastics and at home. It's in my genes. My dad's a physicist. Uh, my mom's a banker. So... I really enjoy math. Um, I've grown up enjoying it. My dad always made it um, fun for me and easy. That said, Shannon has a contract with Doubleday Books to write an inspirational volume due out in the fall of 98. Two books have already been written about her, so she's excited about putting pen to paper to motivate teenagers and young adults to work hard and follow their dreams. Gymnastics is not out of the picture just yet. She continues to work out with Nuno and is still competing in world events while participating in the Magnificent Seven's American Tour this fall. Her career is not over. Every time we think that, well, we've accomplished this major goal and I guess that's the end of the road, uh, she comes up with uh, another goal that's maybe even more amazing. Uh, another Olympic Games, uh, another world championship, uh, uh, maybe uh, the university games. Uh, that something different that um, still allows for uh, some good success and another feather in her cap. That feather might be as a gymnastics commentator or perhaps an actress. Shannon appeared in an episode of the TV sitcom Saved by the Bell this fall. She hopes the transition from Shannon Miller, America's most decorated gymnast, to Shannon Miller, 20-year-old, is a smooth one. Gymnastics has taught me so much, how to be dedicated to something, how to work hard 
to achieve her goals, also to be organized and to try and balance my life out. So it's really helped. I think it's helped me in school too because it's kept me organized and kept me I'm always striving for a goal. No matter what's ahead for Shannon, it seems fitting that the home of the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame is in the hometown of America's most decorated Olympic gymnast. She's performed on the world's athletic stage, but now Dominique Dawes is tumbling into a different venue. Dominique's life on Broadway and much more as the Magnificent Seven, made in America, continues. King is introducing incredibly delicious new fries. A special guest is about to read. Here he is. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, on behalf of Burger King, it's a privilege to introduce the fries that will change history. The crispy new Burger King fries beat McDonald's fries in a nationwide taste test. Thank you. Mr. Potato Head. One question. My client has spoken. Wow. Excuse me, sir. Mr. Potato Head, for the record, is that your real name? Mr. Potato Head. Evergreen Home Banking. Pay bills, make account transfers, and take life a little easier. It's Big Monday, presented by Bud Light. First at 7.30, the inside game of Jahidi White. The all-around game of Damian Owens. A battle in the Big East. Then at 9.30, Kelly Thames locks horns with Chris Clack and Texas. At midnight, a tough road game for Mike Jones and the high-scoring Horn Frogs. Georgetown, West Virginia, 7.30. Texas, Missouri at 9.30. TCU, New Mexico at midnight. Big Monday, tomorrow on ESPN. Thinking back of when I started when I was six and how no one could have ever imagined, you know, this little girl with such bad form and no flexibility to someday be an Olympic gold medalist. Well, I started with gymnastics when I was six years old, and my parents put me in it because I had, you know, quite a bit of energy around the house, jumping around on furniture, breaking things, like little kids always do, and, uh, or a lot of kids do. And uh, my parents signed me up first for tumbling at a YMCA. Um, no one else signed up, so I was, my mom said I was upset or disappointed about that. So she ended up finding a gymnasium that was right across the street from the mall that she would go to. And it was Wheat and Marva Tops and Teens, and it's still there today. Well, I had held her out of competition for the first about mm, three or four years and just trained her. And Hill's Angels often left competitions with trophies almost as big as Dominique. It's interesting to hear how Dominique and Kelly described their relationship over 14 years. Dominique's relationship and mine was definitely a coach-athlete. Just everything. I mean, you know, there's some days that she can be your best friend, but then there's other days she knows she's your coach, and you better listen to what she has to say or you're going to be there all day. There's other days that she's like a mother. It was not a mother's daughter. And she tries to, you know, discipline you and tell you what's right from wrong, and, you know, how's your social life going, or how's school? And, and it wasn't sisters. And there's other days she knows she's your coach, and you better listen to what she has to say. Okay, so wherever the two happen to be has bearing on their relationship. It was a coaching relationship. Outside of the gym, it's friends. And there's really, the only thing that's really changed from then till now is we don't have that coach-athlete relationship. Even when I work with her now, I work with her as a friend. It's not something I'm trying to push her to do this anymore, or come on, get up, you have to do another one if you want to. This looks better, try this. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we sit and shoot the breeze about different things, how life is going in New York, interviews, boyfriends, the whole bit. They say that neon lights are bright on Broadway, but Grease was the one for Dominique Dodd. I got to perform in the musical Grease in December, again in April, May, June, and part of July. Like, I'm so excited just because Broadway is something that people train for for life, just like the Olympics. And my part was Patty Simcox. I was the head cheerleader. And if you've ever seen the movie Grease, uh, you don't see a lot of Patty at all. So they had a lot more of her on stage than, than I was expecting. So um, I was looking forward to that.
the show, Dominique uh, did some tumbling. Um, we took the role and we catered it to her talent. So we put some tumbling in for her. And she also had to sing and she had to act as well. because it's something that I never trained for. I've been trained to be a gymnast, not to be an actress. And uh, little did I know that the performing from gymnastics did carry over into the stage, and it helped a little bit. Well, don't say hello, then. had to grow into the part, I mean, to go from that forum, you know, the, you know, gymnastics to this, it's a very, it's a very, they're two very different worlds, um, so it took, took a while to get used to, like, her timing and her comedy, you know. Well, I was really nervous going into my first day, that was pretty terrifying, not as terrifying as the Olympics, but it was pretty scary. The second day was actually worse. Uh, I went in there, I think, a little too relaxed, thinking that I, you know, knew the lines from the night before and that I was going to be okay, and then right before the curtain opened, I to a complete blank and I had no clue what I was supposed to say or what my character was about so I was just like searching frantically. Dominique says she would like to try acting again but what does the expert think of her chance for a career on Broadway? I think she could have a chance. After landing the part in Greece, Dominique says she loves the excitement, meeting new friends and trying new things like Pilates. Pilates is the art of control. The apparatus is just a, a, a bed with strings on it. It's like swimming. The springs become a resistance, and so the springs help support your movement, so that while you're doing something, all you have to do is breathe, and you control the range of motion with the pull, push and pull of the spring. I actually was introduced to Pilates um, from hearing about it from Jasmine Guy, and I was talking to some people from the Albanelli Ballet Academy, and I, you know, told them my interest and my desires of what I would like to do with staying in shape and different things of staying in shape rather than just gymnastics. And they told me about Pilates. No, it's not necessarily torture. It just stretches out your body, lengthens your muscles, and hopefully gives you a better body line. Because I'm more known for a strong performer. So a lot of people use it for physical therapy, and I'm going to use it for prevention to make sure that I hopefully don't get injured. Stretch shot, straight down the middle. I kind of watch, you know, like the Masters and the PGA Open. Is that it? I mean, all those, uh, those uh, tournaments. Not, I'm feeling good. New York may be exciting, but Dominique seems most comfortable back home in Maryland, whether it be at Kelly's gym or hanging out with sister Danielle. Watch this. I'm going to really drive hard with my big Bertha. A unique person with a unique nickname given to her by a reporter. Awesome Dawson is clearly a crowd pleaser on Broadway and on tour. Dominique Dawes. <laughs> I just like her gymnastics and I think that she's the greatest. Awesome Dawson, she lives up to the name. <laughs> when the Magnificent Seven Made in America returns, the gold medalists show us their magic on the balance beam. Stay with us.
Wow, you really got your hands full. How do you make it look so easy? At a glance, organizers, calendars, and planners. Your life, your way. At a glance. Ooh, dinner. You watched for them. Get unbelievable! Prayed for them. Rooted for them. Now, vote for them. The greatest sports moments of 1997. Which ones deserve a Fans Choice SP? Watch Sports Center to see the year's best. Or log on to ESPN Sports Zone. Then vote for the Fans Choice SPs, sponsored by Pennzoil and General Motors. On the balance beam, the captain of the MAG-7, Amanda Borden, who was the leadoff performer on beam for the U.S. in last year's Olympics. Next up, Amanda's teammate from the Cincinnati Gymnastics Academy, J.C. Phelps, who hopes to stick around until Sydney, but is scheduled for knee surgery in December. Terry Strug helped the U.S. team to a close victory over Russia in one of Atlanta's most memorable moments.
She won all four events at the 1994 National Championships, paving the way for her only U.S. all-around title, Dominique Dodd. Olympic gold medalist on the balance beam, Shannon Miller, and the rest of the Mag 7 take their place in the spotlight when the Magnificent Seven Made in America continues. Are you tired of playing Twister with messy rope, tape, and twist ties? Then you need the Handy Bundler, the world's first endless tie wrap dispenser. No matter what the size, Handy Bundler tightens to a perfect fit every time and secures anything as easy as one, two, three. Now neatly wrap cable and TV wires for a better appearance. Tie garbage bags tight in seconds. Look, ordinary tie wraps just aren't long enough, but the Handy Bundler's cord extends to any size. Large or small, it wraps them all. You'll find hundreds of uses for the Handy Bundler around the shop, at home, in the office, and on the job. You get the Handy Bundler, over 50 feet of durable nylon strapping, and 100 locking clips, all for $19.95. And it comes with this unconditional money-back guarantee. Order now. Call 1-800-897-6699 or send 1995 plus 595 shipping to the address on your screen. For faster delivery, call 1-800-897-6699. This week in Carlsbad, Tiger Woods and a field of champions kick off the 98 PGA Tour season, the Mercedes Championships. First round coverage begins Thursday at 4, only on ESPN. ESPN magazine is going to be fat, but please, no swimsuits. Yeah, no bikinis. No one pieces. No thongs. None of that. All new tastefully done but definitely all new that's important very important yeah to be tasteful we knew it was a possibility but you don't really think it's going to become reality until it does it just hits you and you're like wow <laughs> Los Angeles and appeared on Beverly Hills 90210 and I was just ecstatic obviously I did a lot of the talk shows Jay Leno and Rosie O'Donnell and other than that I appeared on America's Funniest Home Videos that was just a lot of fun introducing some videos and things um, I did Touch by an Angel and that's filmed in Salt Lake City actually so I went out there for a week for an episode that they did on gymnastics and that was a lot of fun. Same sort of thing. It takes a whole week to shoot one episode. I had no idea it was like that. I've spent my whole life in the gym, so acting is obviously not my forte, but it's fun. And, you know, to do these little cameo things, get my foot in the door, and we'll see what opportunities arise. Recently, we caught up with Carrie during one of those opportunities. Four, 
three. My guest today here at Motel California, Carrie Strug. Carrie's current popularity seems to be a little embarrassing for her. But once out of the public eye, she has a chance to reflect on her accomplishments. Well, now I realize the impact my vault had. Initially, I had no idea. I would have never dreamt that a year later, everyone would still know my name and remember my vault. That it's important to people that there is more to sports. It's showing that people do care, you know, more than just about the winning and losing. They want to see people, you know, pulling through when the times are tough. Thanks, this is great. Everyone's making me feel really special. And um, I'm just so ecstatic that we won the gold. You know, I've had a great time this past year and wonderful opportunities of meeting lots of celebrities. And I think that's definitely made an impact to see them and see that they're normal people. And now that is Carrie's goal, to be a normal person and to do normal things like play tennis. I'll get some everything. Well, your average tennis player is not an average college student. This two-time Olympian is now a UCLA Bruin and seeking a more normal way of life. Well, the year went great at UCLA. I think it was really good for me to get involved in school, to keep my feet on the ground, and just get back into the academics, because I took a year out to train for Atlanta. And, um, you know, with all the excitement and the hype after the games, it brought me down and got me, you know, into normal daily activity. I knew five days a week I'd be going to school. Well, I joined a sorority, Kappa Alpha Theta, and that's been one of the best decisions I've made. We have Monday night dinner, so I get to go and talk to the girls, and, you know, they're not interested in gymnastics or where I've been or what I've done, so I get to kind of, you know, just be myself. I had an opportunity to go to a football game, a basketball game, some date parties, and some other social events and you know it was good for me to get kind of in that groove because for so long all I did was train and I wasn't really interested in anything else so it's been a tremendous learning experience not just academically inside the classroom at UCLA but in an all aspect of life sort of thing I started doing my own laundry I started you know having to go to the bank to get my money just becoming much more independent obviously I help out with the UCLA women's gymnastics team and kind of be a mediator between the coach and the girls. Carrie lives on campus with roommate Libby. Together they share an age-old problem, the parking. You're not going to believe this. What? They changed our parking again. <laughs> no, she did not. Why? She just... I don't know. It's, I guess Carrie just left us a message. So, um, change number three. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Maybe we'll make it through the rest of the summer with the same parking space. While Carrie strives for a normal life, this is good for my ankle, they told me. Her fans are still never very far away. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Yeah, I'm real excited. You know, I'm fortunate. I think I have the best of everything now that I can still go to school and then on the weekends tour with the girls. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think I'm going to have a terrific time. I'm going to help promote the sport of gymnastics and, you know, just enjoy ourselves. As Carrie adjusts to college life, her teammate at Caroli Gymnastics last year is setting her sights on the 2000 Olympics. Dominique Mochianu in the gym and in the water. The Magnificent Seven, made in America, will be right back. Is that big clip causing stale chips? Is freezer burn making your stomach turn? then you need Eurosealer, the amazing new sealer that creates an airtight seal that locks in freshness so food lasts longer. Simply slide Eurosealer along the edge of any bag and it's sealed airtight. It's that easy. Every time you open it, food tastes like it just came fresh from the store. Once, twice, every time. The secret is Eurosealer's microthermal technology that creates a seal so airtight even water won't leak. Amazing! Don't waste money on spoiled food. Don't waste money on spilled food. Use what you need and seal up the rest. 
Euro Sealer keeps cereal crunchy, chips crispy, vegetables fresh, and deli meat as delicious as the day it was sliced. Look, one week later, salad stored with a twist type bag is brown and slimy. But salad sealed with Euro Sealer is green and fresh. With Euro Sealer, you'll save a bundle buying bulk at warehouse clubs. And look, its magnetic surface attaches easily to the refrigerator. Use it outdoors. It seals the heaviest bag airtight. Keep bottles from leaking when you travel and more. This huge sealer costs $229, and you have to buy the bags. But now, on this exclusive TV offer, you can get the amazing Euro Sealer for only $19.95. Call within the next 10 minutes and get EuroCan at no additional charge. EuroCan leaves edges incredibly smooth. You can even reapply the lid. Imagine, you get Euro Sealer and EuroCan, a $40 value, all for only $19.95. Not available in stores, so don't delay. Seal the deal and order Euro Sealer today. Day. To order the Euro Sealer and receive the Euro Can absolutely free, have your credit card ready and call 1 800 795 7227 or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Ask your operator how you can get the AC adapter jack so that you'll never have to use batteries again. Order yours. Call now 1 800 795 7227. It was unbelievable. I mean, it was so awesome. They were cheering for you. And it just got your adrenaline even, even stronger, and you wanted to go a lot harder. She's the one member of the Magnificent Seven who was brought up to be a world champion gymnast even before she was born. Dimitri and Camelia Mociana were elite gymnasts in Bucharest. They left Romania for the United States in the late 70s and married in 1981. One year later, their daughter Dominique was born in Hollywood, California. And legend has it, ripped her future. She was, um, I think she was just six, six months. months old, and um, I had in the kitchen uh, just a for towels, you know, a line, and then we said, well, Dimitri, was, let's see how strong she will be, and just kind of hang her over there and said, we will let her by herself, and then we just catch her if, in case she's falling. And uh, she just stayed there, hang herself over there so strong until the, the clothesline just break and we caught her in our hands. But she's pretty tough, she's strong, she can handle herself. <laughs> when Dominique was three and a half, the Mocianos asked fellow Romanian Bella Caroli to coach their daughter. He told them to call back in six years. So they did, and Bella helped Dominique become a champion. In fact, the youngest national champion ever at 14 years old. One year later, Dominique wrote an autobiography before heading to Atlanta and helping the United States win an Olympic gold medal. It was unbelievable and amazing how a coach was always like, oh my gosh, can you believe this? You know what you guys did? You know, you know, like, everybody's going like that. And I thought that that was really neat and very interesting. It was a lot of fun. And when I was standing up there, you know, with all the rest of the girls on the, on the first place, <laughs> that was just a, a day to remember. And, you know, we have pictures of that, and it'll always be there in your memory. The picture she'd like to develop now shows her winning a gold medal in the 2000 Olympics. Originally, she was going to skip this year's national championship, but she decided to compete. She finished ninth and represented the U.S. at the World in September. All right, that was good. Good as long as I keep rising and hopefully become a champion again, um, that's my that's my goal. Trying to be back up on, on the top and do the best that I can, and that's all I can hope for. And you know, even if things didn't work out this year, hopefully next year they'll work out even better. But I'm not going to say that it didn't work out because I'm really pleased with what happened and how I did this year. Meanwhile, she is a junior at Northland Christian High School in Houston while working out at the gym. Oh, the gym? They say everything's bigger in Texas, and well, the home of Mochiana Gymnastics is one more example. This is what the largest gymnastics facility in the world looks like. The 70,000 square foot gym opened in May. It is a second home for Dominique. Right now I'm back into um, training six hours a day and it's back to normal, training a lot, school, homework, same thing, don't have much time to go out anymore. But during the summer, Dominique has a chance to take a little break from her hectic schedule. Awesome. That was fun. 
I love getting out with my friends and doing that stuff. It's just, it's just seldom that I get to. So when I do, I do get so excited because I, you know, I don't have much time to do it. So when I do, I just go all out and have fun. Even at play, the presence of a gold medalist attracts fans. Her celebrity status also has its benefits, as Dominique and her eight-year-old sister, Christina, were center stage in the jet ski show. Come on, y'all need to get loud out there! Dominique is twice as old as Christina, and she likes playing the role of big sister. I love my sister, and she's really sweet, and I always try to protect her and take care of her. But I'm seeing her grow up now, getting prettier and more beautiful every day. Ooh. We get along really well most of the time. You know, sometimes little sisters, you know, sometimes you guys can get into your arguments. But, you know, that's normal. Dominique is an idol for her. She looks at her, whatever she does, she wants to do it too. And practically, uh, they just adore each other. So that's a very good relationship between the sisters. It's not hard to find out who Dominique's idols are. I like Leonardo DiCaprio. And I like Brad Pitt. And they're good and they're cute. <laughs> While Dominique would like to join her two idols on the silver screen someday, she got an early test on another kind of film this past summer. Now, um, I'm modeling for 579, the clothes store in the mall, it's a teenager store. They're not necessarily only teenagers, it's, you know, an all-girls store, but I'm really excited about that. That's been a lot of fun for me now, and, you know, I love taking pictures and you know, wearing clothes at the mall, and, you know, I love shopping, so that fits me perfectly. Dominique's gold medal is just the beginning of the script that this Hollywood native would like to write. The perfect ending? a world title, and more gold in Sydney in 2000. Now that's a movie Dominique would love to star. Somewhere on this ranch in Texas are two of the most successful gymnastics coaches of all time. You'll meet them and a few of their friends when the Magnificent Seven Made in America returns. Get a new look with Blitz Paint from Menards. Spread wall flat covers beautifully on many interior surfaces. Choose stock colors or have it custom colorized. Just $6.84 a gallon. Brighten your bath with Moen faucets. This two-handle lamp faucet is $38.49. Pressure balanced tub shower faucets prevent scalding. $69.98. In 90 days, save us cash on qualifying purchases with your Menards Big Card. Save big money at Menards. Convertible grips and convenient folding capabilities, it's easy to see why a Bowflex was selected by Fitness Magazine as the best home gym for 1997 and was awarded a Consumer's Digest Best Buy. It's time to get the body you want with no money down and payments as low as $33 a month. Call right now for your free video and brochure. Discover the body you always wanted with the Bowflex Power Pro. Hey, Rich. Stewie, you shouldn't have. Hey. I didn't get you anything. All right, don't worry about it. How'd you know? I just, come on, put it on, put it on. All right, all right. You knew my size and everything. It, it looks good. Thank you. It looks Feels good. Thanks. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, man. The Bars event was the first for the MAG-7 at the Atlanta Games. It set the stage for the U.S. team as they took the overall lead. Harry Strug will be up first.
And now the captain, Amanda Borden, who did not actually compete on this event in Atlanta. Let's check out her bar routine tonight. Next, Dominique Mochianu, who finished ninth all around at the Olympic Games, just behind the highest U.S. finisher, Shannon Miller. Now this is Shannon Miller, one of whose seven Olympic medals was a bronze on this event at the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona. Up next, Dominic Dawes, who just missed meddling on the bars in last year's Olympic Games, finishing fourth. Finally, Amy Chow, who joined Shannon Miller as the only American individual medalist at the 96 Games, winning the silver on this event. Watch for her signature move, the Chow. Amy Chow, who's not only one of the world's best gymnasts, she also plays an accomplished concert piano. Amy's story and a look at the Cincinnati kids as the Magnificent Seven made in America returns after this. Now, Sports Illustrated gives you championship excitement you can count on. One, two, three, four, five. Give Me Five, the best of all five Bulls NBA championships, all on one video. Plus this great Bulls commemorative basketball. This Bulls Super Pack is free and only available with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. Don't miss the memories. This limited edition Bulls basketball is a five-time winner. Both these great collectibles are free with your order of 54 issues of Sports Illustrated for only $1.48 an issue. Save over 57% off the cover price. For the fastest delivery of your free gifts, use your credit card. Call now and get the ultimate Bulls Super Pack, the great Bulls video, and the commemorative Bulls basketball. Both free. The champion Bulls and Sports Illustrated. You can't beat it. Daredevils are often considered sex symbols. But excuse me, when you hang them out as far over the edge as these ice climbers, the discos and the hot tubs are just our way of taking the edge off. For these kids, the real party is a race up an ice-cold wall of ice. And mister, the cover charge at this fiesta is as steep as the Snake River Canyon is wide. The Winter X Games, coming soon. 
Back on tour with the Magnificent Seven, Bob Varsha, along with Maura Driscoll. Maura, it's amazing to see these athletes enjoying their Olympic experience in their normal lives. They're not one-dimensional at all. They have more going on than just gymnastics. And so often we only see these athletes in their element of intense competition when they're extremely focused. But what we're seeing tonight is that this intensity is merely one facet of their personality. And coming up, we'll learn a little bit more about the Cincinnati duo, Amanda Borden, who was the team captain in 96, and J.C. Phelps, a typical high school senior plus their coach Mary Lee Tracy who guided them to the Olympic stage in Atlanta and then joined them there as the assistant coach of the 96 Olympic team we'll see the magnificent seven in their floor exercise routines coming up and we'll visit with Amy Chow as she begins her freshman year at Stanford University it's all coming up stand by for more of the magnificent seven made in America man this gray hair makes me look old and do what I did get rid of it you were gray I never knew that no one can tell you use the remarkable discovery called Just For Men. Simply shampoo in Just For Men and in five minutes rinse. It's time controlled to blend away gray in five minutes without changing your natural color. Even I can't tell what used to be gray. Thanks. Just For Men looks so natural, even friends can't tell. Coming up on SportsCenter, the Packers and Bucks square off for the third time this season, as do the Broncos and Chiefs as the playoffs heat up. The Suns suffer two losses in one day, and the Bills may have one new coach. SportsCenter, 7 o'clock Eastern. Just seeing all of us up there on the podium, it's just incredible. Okay, so a street at her local high school is named after her. She has the key to the city, in fact to three cities, and she gets mail with some interesting proposals. Look, this one wants to give you the world. We'll say that. It would seem that this 18-year-old high school senior from Cincinnati is the toast of the town. <laughs> oh, don't drop her! <laughs> When her friends are around, J.C. Phelps is just another classmate. I have a lot of good friends here, and you know, I wouldn't change it for anything. I enjoy doing so many different things with them, and they treat me like a normal person, not as an Olympic gold medal. Well, maybe not all the time. You wanted to know what it was like to be a gymnast so bad that uh, first time he met her, he, uh, he had to try on a, a leotard. And uh, Casey's a big guy. <laughs> And that leotard didn't fit so well. Yeah. But it, it, it didn't, you know, it was kind of wanted to feel what it was like, like John said. Right. I didn't quite make it. <laughs> didn't quite make it. JC has made sure that her commitment to elite gymnastics hasn't sacrificed her friendships out of the gym. She's always been that way with school friends. No matter where we've been with gymnastics, she's always had school friends outside of the gym that she's been able to, to keep up with, to keep her a little bit more normal. I know. Some kids, their friends are just in the gym and gymnastics, but she's always managed to have friends outside, which I think that really helps. Um, get away from the gymnastics, just totally get away from it, go have fun, and then when she's back in the gym, it's totally gymnastics again. So maybe that's what's helped make it successful, is that she does have both. Fun to most teenage girls is, well... I love to shop. Um, I wasn't saying that I'm going in and buying anything, but I usually never come out of the mall without something. I know, it is bright. That's <laughs> cool, though. Is it? Whatever. I like it. I think it might be on sale. But if not, I like it anyway. Oh! Oh, go ahead. No, I don't want to put it to you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, indeed. It is a wonderful time for JC. She and her gold medalist teammates have been in demand across the country. Two tours playing to many sellout crowds have hit 75 cities in the last 14 months. JC has become a teen idol while making many appearances in the last year. Because of that success in the business world, it has afforded JC a few extra luxuries. I am. Oh, geez. I'm not shocked. No, I called it. No, I just did. I just called it before. It's shocked. No. Get it back. No. Take me, bro. Right.
Stacy and her mom live in a Cincinnati apartment to be close to the gym, while her dad and brother live a couple of hours away in Greenfield, Indiana. It is not the easiest of living arrangements, but JC is fortunate to have Amanda Borden training in the same gym. Amanda, how do you feel? I'm feeling really good. and I know that it's going to last forever. JC has succeeded in the roller coaster ride of elite competition, but her gymnastics triumphs are matched by her excellence in the classroom. JC is an A student who is hoping to experience a normal senior year. I'm going to go to homecoming. I'm going to go to prom. I'm in Senate this year. Um, I'm not going to be competing this year because of my knee injury, so... I have a lot more opportunities now. JC had knee surgery two years ago and again last year. A third one is scheduled for December. She's hoping that the 2000 Olympics is in her future, but she's realistic. I always look at it as everything happens for a reason, and if I can continue competing, I'll still be able to do the professional thing, the touring and some of the professional competitions. So, you know, I have an Olympic experience that will stick with me forever and you know, no one can take that away so I look at it as <laughs> whatever happens happens. How does the dog of an Olympic coach act on a trampoline? <laughs> Meet Noah and his owner, Olympic assistant coach Mary Lee Tracy, whose guidance helped JC and Amanda become Olympic gold medalists as the Magnificent Seven Made in America continues. 250 bucks? It's only a little scratch. Here a scratch, there a scratch, everywhere a scratch, scratch. And they're all an eyesore. What you need is GS27 Scratch Remover. It's new from Door Lube. GS27 gets rid of those surface scratches and paint swirls quickly and easily. Simply rub GS27 into the scratch, then polish it to a beautiful finish. The scratch is gone. I still can't believe it was that easy. GS27 got rid of those scratches in less than a minute. It's great. GS27 is not an abrasive. It's a super fine microscopic crystal light that works its way into the scratch and polishes it away. And look, you don't have to go crazy trying to match colors. That same tube of GS27 works wonders on any color car. You have to see it to believe it. Amazing. The repair shop said it had to sand, prime, and paint. What a bunch of bull. GS27 took that ugly scratch away in no time. Watch, would you do this to a brand new car? Ouch! But GS27 removes that ugly scratch quickly and easily. What a difference! GS27 is so effective, it'll even remove paint scrapes, ugly rust from chrome bumpers, and scratches and scrapes from your boat's gel coat. GS27 is only $14.95. But wait! Order now and get a second tube for only $5. That's two for just $19.95. It'll remove those surface scratches from your car or your money back. Don't live with those ugly scratches and don't spend a fortune to remove them. Order your GS27 scratch remover now. Call toll-free 1-800-313-2400 or send check or money order for $14.95 for one or $19.95 for two plus $5.95 shipping and handling to GS27, 1000 Apex Street, Department GS, Nashville, Tennessee. Or call now 1-800-313-2400. Dominic Mochianu finished fourth on the floor exercise in the Atlanta Olympics, edged out by teammate Dominique Dawes, who took home the bronze.
Now Amanda Borden, whose smile and energetic gymnastics came together best on this event, the floor exercise. You say the neon lights are bright on Broadway, on Broadway. You say there's always magic in the air. We'll be back with more of the Magnificent Seven Floor Show after this. and flowers are 23% off regular prices. Choose from several styles. These are $19.98. Stock up on Rayovac batteries. Choose from two-pack C or D or single 9-volt. Just 57 cents after rebate. Get 90 days, same as cash, on qualifying purchases with your Menards Big Car. Save big money at Menards. A few questions about the Dallas game. Yeah, sure. Where do you want me? Wherever you're comfortable. All right, I got two minutes. Coming up on SportsCenter, the Packers and Bucks square off for the third time this season, as do the Broncos and Chiefs as the playoffs heat up. The Suns suffer two losses in one day, and the Bills may have one new coach. SportsCenter, 7 o'clock Eastern. Welcome back to the MAG-7 Floor Show. This past summer, Shannon Miller won the all-around gold at the World University Games, as well as helping the U.S. team to the silver medal.
She's from San Jose, California, so it seems appropriate that Amy Chow picks the Beach Boys for her floor routine. Seems she forgot all about the library like she told her old man now. And with the radio blast and go cruising just as fast as she can now. And she'll have fun, 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 fun till daddy takes the cheever away. Fun, fun, fun till daddy takes the cheever away. She makes the Indy 500 look like the Roman chariot face. A lot of guys try to catch her, but she leaves them on a wild to chase. She'll have fun, fun, fun till your daddy takes the TV away. Fun, fun, fun till your daddy takes the TV away. she dances to the music of the Beach Boys, Bach might be the music of choice for Amy Chow out of the gym. A look at the two-time Olympic medalist when the Magnificent Seven, Made in America, returns. Rough night's sleep, no big deal, look again. This x-ray shows no support for your neck and spine when you toss and turn on an ordinary pillow. But now there's the Contour Cloud, the world's most comfortable pillow. Patented soft touch memory layer molds to fit your head, neck, even your ear for unparalleled softness and comfort, while Blue Bay straightens and aligns your spine. Plus, exclusive Crescent provides comforting support to your neck and shoulders. It even cradles your back. Watch again how ordinary pillows simply don't support you. Now see how the contour cloud cradles your head in softness as it straightens and aligns your spine. Thousands have paid $90 for this memory pillow, but you can order ours direct for only $19.95 with a 90-day money-back guarantee. Order in the next 60 minutes and we'll include this hot cold therapy gel pack, a $9 value free. Call now to order 1-800-952-6886. Don't waste another night. Call right now, 1-800-952-6886. That's 1-800-952-6886. Got a lot of things on your plate lately? How do you keep everything straight? At a glance, organizers, calendars, and planners. Your life, your way. At a glance. East meets West when college football's top seniors showcase their skills in the country's oldest all-star game. The East-West Shrine Football Classic, presented by Buick. Saturday at 4, only on ESPN. This week in Carlsbad, Tiger Woods and a field of champions kick off the 98 PGA Tour season. The Mercedes Championships. First round coverage begins Thursday at 4, only on ESPN. Well, I was really excited because that's been one of my dreams um, for a long time, and I knew that I was going to go in there and accomplish something that I've always wanted to do. Child's many talents began to surface at an early age. The only question was, what would she excel in? The answer, whatever she set her mind to. Well, I started here when I was four. I've been taking piano ever since. Um, I really enjoy it. It's something besides gymnastics that I do. Even when she was very small and her mother wasn't here, this was all on her own, she was always very determined to do her best. She practiced very faithfully. Uh, a straight-A student at school, uh, went to the gym, came home, did her piano every day that she was home. She uh, participated in the international recording competition when she was little and won some gold medals. Amy is basically the same. She has always had uh, good concentration, determination, and of course the same thing that makes her a, 
a wonderful athlete applies to piano. She has great fingers. Probably both take a lot of dedication and obvious that one's more active. For Amy, the active one began at an even earlier age, here at the West Valley Gymnastics. When she first came here, she was about three, and I really wasn't doing much of the preschool program at that time, but um, she started to show up. Within the first year, we started to notice some things about it that were pretty amazing. Every young coach that really has aspirations in the competitive field always thinks they're going to have a kid that will make the Olympic team. But Not only did he have an Olympic player, but also a two-time Olympic medalist. While Amy shared the team gold, she also earned a silver on her favorite event, bars. I think anything you want to do and you want to do well it takes, you know, um, the normal things like discipline and concentration. And according to coach Mark Young, gymnastics has helped Amy Chow. Since the Olympic Games, though, and uh, the pro tour that she went on and all that, she's really grown up a lot. And uh, she's, she's always been a really, really nice kid. And really sweet and you're just a great kid to be around but she's opened up a lot too still some things never change even though she'll continue to dabble with gymnastics uh, she's still got that work ethic i mean she's in here every day and all she's preparing for is the tour and the pro meets there's lots of lessons that you know you can learn from gymnastics and not only you know physically but um like i've been i've had to be very efficient with my you know work to, in order to squeeze gymnastics in with my schedule um, I, I don't know, I've learned how to be dedicated, how to concentrate. I felt really satisfied with what I did, you know, at the Olympics, and, um, I don't know, it's just time to do something a little different. You hear about people that all they do is gymnastics, or all they do is this, and all they do is that, and she always had several activities that she was involved in, and to be honest, that's it's kind of a single-mindedness thing that she decided that she wanted to do several activities. One was gymnastics, and one was the music, and one was to keep her school up. Not many people are capable of doing that, but that's kind of a focus and a single-mindedness. Now she's decided that she wants to get to, you know, get started with her schoolwork in college. Um, well, I think it's important to um, get a college education and um, to get a good job, and uh, I just feel that um, I need to start now because if I want to be a pediatrician, it's going to take a long time. I don't know, I just like exploring different things and, uh, like, you know, how our bodies work and stuff. I like math, um, maybe because it's so precise, um, but I also like biology and, like, learning about different animals and ourselves. And... <laughs> you missed. Amy and her younger brother, Kevin, have always been very close. They have shared experiences from gymnastics to excellence in the classroom. My brother, he does gymnastics also, so we can, you know, talk to each other if we're having problems or something, and we can understand, you know, the gymnastics term. I'm interested in math, and I want to be, like, work with physics. and. He likes stuff. taking things apart. Yeah. <laughs> Amy is so organized, she can even manage to schedule some fun in a busy day. <laughs> Amy has excelled in gymnastics and at the piano. One can only imagine what lofty goals will be reached at Stanford and beyond. What's in store for the 2000 Olympics? We'll tell you when the Magnificent Seven Made in America returns after this. Are you wasting money on spoiled food? Then you need Euro Sealer, the amazing new sealer that creates an airtight seal that locks in freshness so food lasts longer. Simply slide Euro Sealer along the edge of any bag and it's sealed airtight. It's that easy. Every time you open it, food tastes like it just came fresh from the store. Look, Euro Sealer creates a seal so airtight even water won't leak. Amazing! Euro Sealer keeps cereal crunchy, chips crisp, vegetables fresh, and deli meat delicious. One week later, Twist Thai salad is brown and slimy, but Euro Sealed salad is green and fresh. Now on this exclusive TV offer, you can get Euro Sealer for only $19.95. Call now and get Eurocan free. Eurocan leaves edges incredibly smooth. You can even reapply the lid. That's a $40 value, all for only $19.95. To order the Euro Sealer and receive the Eurocan absolutely free, have your credit card ready and call 1 800 582 4114. Don't delay, seal the deal and order today. Call now. You watched for them, Get unbelievable. prayed for them. Rooted for them. Now, vote for them. The greatest sports moments of 1997. Which ones deserve a Fans Choice SP? Watch Sports Center to see the year's best.
or log onto ESPN Sports Zone. Then vote for the Fans Choice ESPYs, sponsored by Pennzoil and General Motors. The Magnificent Seven, made in America, is being brought to you by Disney on Ice, the spirit of Pocahontas, coming to an arena near you for a limited time. Come relive all the adventure live on ice. And so there they are, America's Magnificent Seven. Seven athletes joined together by their gold medal experience in the Atlanta Games. Maura, at the beginning of the show, we talked about their impact on the sport, and we heard them described as the face of America in all their diversity. I guess my question for you is, is this a one-time thing for American gymnastics? I think in many ways it is. This team has certainly made their mark on the sport by inspiring thousands of little girls to get involved in gymnastics, which is terrific for USA Gymnastics. But what a lot of people don't realize is that this 96 team was very unique because of the presence of three two-time Olympians, Shannon Miller, Dominique Dawes, and Carrie Strug. There's now a new international rule which has increased the Olympic age limit to 16 years old, which could change the face of the sport. The 2000 Olympic Games could very well be the last time we see a two-time Olympian on a U.S. women's gymnastics team. In fact, if that rule had been in place in 1996, Dominique Mochianu would not have been an Olympic gold medalist. But that's a story yet to play out in the games of Sydney, Australia in the year 2000. For now, we have the exploits of the Magnificent Seven to savor. We hope you've enjoyed watching them with us. I'm Bob Varsha. For Maura Driscoll, thanks for being with us. So long, everyone. Ahead on Fourth Center, the Bucks look to make a case for ending a pair of streaks, while the Pack hopes to move on in the playoff race. The Broncos hope to erase bitter memories of Kansas City. There may be new space in the Suns' starting lineup, while the Orangemen may need to find a new home base, or well, this guy might fall flat on his face. Have the Bills found someone to replace Marv Levy? This Ram is an ace when it comes to dunking, so don't go anyplace. Take a